the crazy thing about this trade is I never would have thought that the Bucks were going to get Damian Lillard. Nobody was speaking about the Bucs. Nobody said anything about the Bucs. All we've been hearing over the last couple of days is that Giannis might want out when it comes to after this season because he can opt out of his contract and he could become an unrestricted free agent. I still believe that Giannis plans to opt out of his contract. The whole point of making this move for Damian Lillard is to try to show Giannis that they're willing to make moves to help them win or even be competitive or even more competitive than what they've been over the last year, year and a half with the injuries that they've had. What hurts them here is losing Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is the best point guard defender in the NBA. He's been the best defender at his position for the last three seasons. Losing a defensive player that still gives you almost 20 points a game, gives you about six to seven assists a game, and about four rebounds a game still hurts you. Now, Damian Lillard's going to give you about 11 more points, but will he give you the defense, which they have lacked at that point guard position uh, over the years before they made that move for Drew Holiday? So, Drew Holiday has been a buck for five years, it, it's definitely affected them. It, it, and it will affect them moving forward this season. They have no bench. Now Grayson Allen, who was a big part of their bench last year, that played pretty well, uh, not kicking people in the balls or doing any of that stuff that he did with Duke. But nevertheless, he was a good player for them. And now the Suns get Nurchik, a, a big man that obviously I think is – a kind of a different player than DeAndre Ayton. DeAndre Ayton didn't want to be in the he didn't want to be in a Suns uniform. Uh, there were stories coming out when he got the extension in the offseason that they couldn't trade him last year. They had to wait until the 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 trade deadline. They didn't have any buyers. They didn't have any trade suitors. So they had to hold on to him. And then this offseason, they were trying to move him all different places. They were trying to move him to the Nets. I heard there were stories that they were, uh, the Nets were interested in him. I've also heard that the Lakers were interested in him. I think the Pacers were the very Pacers, close. So. The Pacers were interested in him. But there was, no, there was no trade factors. Then this thing came up and I found out DeAndre Ayton was the uh, the the main source, really, besides Damian Lillard, he was the second biggest name in the trade. As much as much as I think Drew Holiday is a steal for the Blazers, getting DeAndre Ayton, Drew Holiday, and a first round unprotected pick in 2029, when the Suns could be really that bad. I, I mean, the Suns. Just look at it. Durant is 34 years old starting this year. Could be 35 at the end of the season. He's getting old. Bradley Beal, is get, he's 29 going to be 30 this year. He might be on his tail end of his career, and you're still going to have to pay him for the next three years. And then Devin Booker, who's the youngest player on this team, the youngest talent on this team, is 26, 27 years old. And he, there were stories coming out last year that he didn't want to be he didn't want to be a Phoenix Sun anymore. And then they added Chris Paul, and it made him happy. I'm telling you right now, this thing with the Suns is not going to work. It's not going to work with Bradley Beal. It's not going to work with Kevin Durant. And it's not going to work with Devin Booker. Devin Booker is the only piece that is tradable that they can get pieces back. And then trading away all these first-round draft picks, which they've been doing for the last couple of years, Kevin Durant, and they traded away a ton of first-round draft picks to the Nets. And the Nets are going to benefit from that. They're going to benefit from Kevin Durant yeah. and Kyrie Irving. And now, when you look at this move, the Suns, what are they going to benefit? If they don't win in the next two years, that 2029 pick could be a lottery pick. That could be a top-five pick. So... Just think about it this way. The the Blazers got Drew Holiday. Might not be a Damian Lillard type of player, but he's a better defender. He's a, he's an all-world defender, and he's still going to give you 20 points. He's still going to give you the numbers that you need to get from a point guard. You have Scoot there. The Scoot Henderson, I think, is going to be Rookie of the Year this year. DeAndre Ayton, who is a double-double machine. Even though I'm not a big fan of his, he's a double-double machine. He's now under contract. And now you're getting all these picks you have these pick swaps, and you're getting a first-round draft pick that's unprotected in 2029, which could be a lottery. Who do you think that won this trade? It's absolutely the Trailblazers. 